Welcome to Saving History. I'm SC Digger, and we're going to do something just a little bit different today. What we're going to do, hopefully, is show you how to take something like this old rusty oil can and bring it back to life so that you turn this rusty old into rusty gold. Now, the process is actually fairly simple. Uh, first, you have to, of course, start with your rusty tin can. And this, like I said, this is a large uh, motor oil can. Uh, from what I can tell, it says SO. So it would be an SO oil company oil can, uh, but uh, a lot of uh, beer can collectors, they utilize this as well. And uh, they usually say that if you can still see a little bit of the uh, graphics on the can, the paint, then there's a good chance that you actually can remove some of that rust that's uh, on the surface and bring these old cans back to life. Now, like I said, the process is pretty simple. I'm basically gonna use water and I gotta, couple of gallons of water right here in front of me and we're going to use uh, citric acid. Uh, now some people use oxalic acid, uh, citric acid uh, is supposed to work as well and so what I'm going to use is uh, eight ounces of citric acid per two gallons of water and so I've got a one pound bag which is well should be 16 ounces and so I'm going to pretty much use this entire bag in my batch here and uh, the only other thing that we have to have is time and uh, we'll, we'll take you through that process as we go through it. I want to make sure I give you a good before shot of the can. You can see it is just about unreadable, but you can make a little bit of the ESO logo there. So that's what we're working with. Okay, now that I get the citric acid dissolved in my water, the next thing, of course, I want to do is completely submerge the oil can. And I'll start with about an hour soak to begin with. And then from there, I'll check every hour or so, probably up to about 12 hours or so for the complete soak. Okay, so we've got it completely submerged and we'll uh, let the citric acid do its thing. Okay, so the uh, ESO can has been soaking in the citric acid solution for probably a little over 12 hours now. And uh, what I'm doing now, you can see, is I'm um, taking just a, you know, it's a relatively hard brush. It's, it's, it's nylon, it's not a wire brush. But I'm going through and uh, giving it a good brush. And you can see, right here, you can see the difference. See how light this is and how dark that is from where I have and haven't brushed. Uh, I'm not going to show you the whole can here until I'm finished brushing it. It looks like they had red paint in the can at some time, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to finish brushing this thing off and then we'll show you the final product. Okay, so after brushing it down, I put it back into the citric acid for another two hours just to make sure that there was nothing else that could take off and uh, pulled it back out, uh, brushed it again, cleaned the inside, and then I gave it a very light coating of uh, oil on the outside just to kind of seal it. And uh, I'm really pleased with the way it came out. Uh, it's true that you can bring rusty cans back to life. And if you look at this, you remember what this thing looked like when we started. Now I've actually got a really nice display piece as a result of it. So, all those rusty cans and things that you dig out of those trash pits and in holes, sometimes you might be able to bring them back to life. So give it a try and uh, continue to save history. So for Saving History, I'm SC Digger.